Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another YouTube video. This is kind of a sad story to talk about, uh, but it's worth sharing. Uh, if you're not aware of some of the stuff going on in the world in Afghanistan, I don't want to rehash everything that happened. I made a video just in my past one, kind of talking about some stuff. Jet ski industry that I'm really upset about. I just don't like to see mistreatment of, of, of any type of animal, especially dogs. Um, I own four dogs myself, so I'm, I'm a dog person, so it's, it hits hard. I was really upset about stuff I was seeing uh, last night and early today. Uh, this is no way looking bad upon uh, the people serving in the military that were taking care of these animals. I mean, when orders is orders, you can't just do whatever you want. You can sit there and think you could do whatever you want. You can't. So I understand what all happened for a reason. But let's kind of get the story straight. Before we get into the whole story, let me ro roll a clip of a TikTok video that I made. This TikTok video is right now, and this has even been up for like 24 hours. It got uh, uh, almost 37,000 views, 576 shares, uh, tons of comments, all oh, people mix things, you know, saying in the, this video there's no clips of the dogs in cages and stuff like that, and like, you know, that's a lot of noise with somebody cutting the grass. Um, so what I'm going to roll this clip is footage from after the U.S. pulled out of the Kabul airport in Afghanistan, before and after them being there and leaving. Roll it close. see they're working dogs now they're not I wouldn't say they're dogs that the military uh, like you know they're the Marines or something like that but they were government working contract dogs so they weren't military dogs but they were under the care of the military I saw another video showing these people taking care of them I saw another video from I think it's called why news they show where they're they're actually on the ground still videotaping and I saw where this was and, you know, saw that where these dogs are loose. Uh, and they look really skinny too, which is like even a little bit more concerning with that too. So, uh, it's just a lot to take in. Now, the Pentagon, before I read this article, is saying that there were no dogs left behind. Well, obviously you can see in the video they are, so you can, it's, you know, there's video evidence. Were they military dogs left behind? No, but the breed of dog are working dogs that the military would use, so they're not just some like regular dog being left there. Uh, it's upsetting, really upsetting. Uh, the the dog crates that uh, have caused such such a stir online about the abandoned dogs left behind by the United States 
military. Well, the dogs, yeah, the dogs were left behind. They weren't all evacuated, but they weren't kept, uh, they weren't in the crates when the Taliban arrived. They're still running around the per perimeter of the airport and the Taliban, the Taliban has contacted animal control, dog control to catch them. And no, uh, they say they haven't uh, sentenced them to death. Watch this, the Taliban has the dogs. Also, there's, there's a lot of noise in Western press about the dogs that were left behind by uh, Americans. Is that true? And also, Western press, English press, is saying that the Taliban has sentenced the dogs to death. It is not, it is not true. Uh, yeah, the Americans left the dogs to get out from their specific uh, places, but uh, our teams and our officials called the in charge of the, those dogs, and uh, today uh, they came to report and they are trying to uh, collect the dogs and they are trying to um, facilitate for them and uh, what they need to give them. Is, there, is they alive and how many are they? Um, particularly, I, I cannot give you a specific number, but they are alive, and uh, from the beginning, when we come to the front line, or front door of the airport, we were in, in, in uh, we were in touch with the uh, in charge of the dog, and they are working and they are uh, feeding the dogs, and uh, I think there's no problem. Uh, but uh, you know, the situation, situations were not too good, and uh, maybe there are some problems. But at all, we can say that they, they are. Man, let's read this article. This is just upsetting me. Thinking about it, I just I just don't like to see mistreat treatment of animals. I just wish with all those space and those planes that they could have been able to take these dogs with them instead of, you know, it, it's good that they let them out of the cages before leaving, but leaving them there in general, abandoning them, man, it's just like, it's really messed up. I mean, it's better them sitting in the cages and then they just die in there, but I don't, you know, I don't, you can tell in the video with whoever's standing there filming it, the dogs are nice dogs. They're not like me, you know, like they'll come up to people. So letting them go thinking the Taliban, they can get away from the Taliban. I mean, obviously the dogs are going to come to somebody. So it's just like, you know, this plus two, I was looking for the best article. I want to get a, a, an article coming from the United Kingdom. So we're not sitting there with some biased uh, article. I read this from the United States because usually most of the news I get or I listen to is like the I think it's called the Wyan News, the India News, but they're not biased. And I find if you want to know real stuff, that's why I, I watch a lot of stuff. And in usually articles, I try to always pick something where it's from another country because then it's just you know we're getting another view of what another you know, country is thinking in the United States. So this is from the Independent uh, in the UK. This is it, because uh, first up, like animal rights groups are going crazy right now, and that's why I say the Pentagon's trying, you know, they're trying to act like nothing was left behind. So we're not going to get anything about politics. I don't like talking about politics, but I, I definitely have no problem talking about when I see mistreatment of stuff uh, where people are animals. So you know, man. This is this this the last couple of weeks has meant a lot to take in, and, and it's coming right up on 9/11. It's Man, this is a bunch of mixed things. If you haven't seen my last video, like I, I call that a bunch of people who are just not doing the right thing, uh, sharing stuff. And to me, I'm making the effort. It says, animal rights groups say, U.S. handed death sentence to working dogs left behind by troops in Afghanistan. Now, what I'm reading is, I, I'm kind of giving my little opinion, but I'm reading what this article, so you, you can all have your own beliefs. Uh, the factual thing, like when I saw the TikTok video, People don't really think there were dogs in the cages, and I zoomed in with the video where you could see dogs in there, and if you can't see that, then either you're like living life delusional or you need to get glasses. It's one of the two. It says right here, dogs have been left behind to be tortured and killed at the hand of our enemies. The group says, this was posted 13 hours ago, videos are not always up right when they go up. So the United States is in a hasty withdrawal uh, forces from Afghanistan allegedly abandoning dozens of contracted working dogs according to the animal welfare group. From you can see the beginning of the video, something's going on. Uh, American Humane non-profit group headquartered in Washington DC said 
the US military contract dogs have been left behind to be tortured and killed the hand of our enemies. These brave dogs do the same dangerous life-saving work as our military working dogs that deserve a fair better fate than one of which they have been condemned. It sickens us to sit idly by and watch these brave dogs who valiantly served our country put to death a war said organization president Robin R. Ganzert in a statement on Monday night. You know, you can take from the video what you saw and you can tell me what you think. You know, I'm all open. I'm not, I don't judge anybody by what you believe and all that. You know, I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm just telling you what I saw. I'm upset. I don't like to see animals mistreated. And I'm reading off an article and you guys got to hear it kind of thing. In order to prevent tragedy from occurring, these canines should be loaded into whatever cargo space remains and flown to safety. Mr. Ganser added, which I 100% believe that. Uh, there's a little photo. I'll send you guys this. Uh, yeah, I'll include this in here. Uh, what I'm seeing, I'll have the photo where you guys can see. It says the organization has also called upon the Congress to start action to classify working dogs on the same level as military working dogs. That's the difference. Working dogs and military working dogs. I don't understand why these dogs weren't just taken out of there. I mean, I just really don't. I, and I feel bad for the people who are taking care of them, soldiers, and they can't take them. And I can't even imagine, to be honest, I can't even imagine any soldier who went there to Afghanistan, period, for the whole time, especially what's gone on at that airport, the stuff, you know, the loss of servicemen and women. those people had to see and they got to live their whole life what they saw I mean you see a couple clips I mean it gets etched in your mind it's not the same as you're actually being there which is just a lot to take in and uh, I give those people great respect I mean like I said earlier in the video you know you had to do what you're ordered to do you can't make your own call it's part of orders when you're in the military and it's just upsetting failure to do anything less is failure to end of humanity and condemn the nation of all of us. The statement read, a working dog is a purpose trained canine that performs tasks to assist humans while military dogs specialty train for warfare and con a contract working dog is usually owned by a private contractor to, w to work alongside these canines and perform a wide range of duties. I'm all sharing is these dogs were left behind. Mm. It's just a lot to take in. I'll roll another clip. the the dog crates that uh, have caused such such a stir online about the abandoned dogs left behind by the United States military well the dogs 
Yep, the dogs were left behind. They weren't all evacuated, but they weren't kept, uh, they weren't in the crates when the Taliban arrived. They're still running around the per perimeter of the airport and the Taliban... The Taliban has contacted animal control, dog control, to catch them. And no, uh, they say they haven't uh, sentenced them to death. Update, watch this, the Taliban has the dogs. Also, there's, there's a lot of noise in Western press about the dogs that were left behind by uh, Americans. Is that true? And also, Western press, English press, is saying that the Taliban has sentenced the dogs to death. It is, no, it is not true. Uh, yeah, the Americans left the dogs to get out from their specific uh, places, but uh, our teams and our officials called the in charge of the, those dogs, and uh, today uh, they came to the port and they are trying to uh, collect the dogs and they are trying to um, facilitate for them and uh, what they need to give them. Is, there, is they alive and how many are they? Um, particularly, I, I cannot give you a specific number, but they are alive. And uh, from the beginning, when we come to the front line, the front door of the airport, we were in, 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 uh, we were in touch with the uh, in charge of the dog, and they are working and they are uh, feeding the dogs, and uh, I think there's no problem. Uh, but uh, you know, situation, situations were not too good, and uh, maybe there are some problems. But at all, we can say that they, they are. And I just really don't have much more to say. I'm, it's just, it's upsetting, and. Um... I just bring awareness. Uh, I appreciate if you hit the like button, leave a comment down. You know, this isn't about political stuff, but you know, take a look at it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be driven to win. Remember, stay mighty and keep strong.